So one of the questions people tend to ask is, what is my denomination? So they all hear me talk or give information about uh, time in Asia doing missions. And they'll, you know, obviously ask a couple of questions about the countries that I've been in, but they'll say, um, hey, what, what's your denomination? And I tend to respond with, well, why do you ask? Because some people say, you, you're Baptist because you're always, you know, with the word, everything you're saying is Bible. And I'm like, okay. And then other people are say, will say, you know, you're definitely Pentecostal, charismatic. I've gotten the gamut. I've gotten Methodist. I've gotten, I've never gotten, well, I won't say the other denominations, but my response to them is, can you show me a denomination in the Bible? Just one. Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, well, obviously there's Pentecost, right, in the book of Acts, but when you look through Genesis to Revelation, can you find me a denomination that Jesus said that we are to start, because a denomination is a sect, right, it is, when you think of, uh, for example, dollars or whatever the currency is for your country, there is a $1 bill, $5 bill, $10 bill. Those are, those are called denominations, right? A set. So a meeting for a denomination, a denomination is a particular religious group which has slightly different beliefs from other groups within the same faith which is not scriptural. So when people ask me, I say I'm Genesis to Revelation. And while thinking about this question for this broadcast, I forgot how many denominations as it relates to Christianity are there in the world. So according to, let's see, it's the study of global Christianity. There are more than 200 Christian denominations in the United States. And are you, wait, wait for it, are you ready? 45,000 globally. And again, this is according to the Center for the Study of Global Christianity. <sighs> Can we read John 4, 17, please? 14, yes, but John 17, John 17, 20, Jesus praying for us all, right? For the sensationalist who says Jesus is not talking about all the believers to come. But he says, my prayer is not for them alone, meaning his disciples. I pray for all those who will believe in me through their message. So anyone who believes in the gospel of the kingdom of God, this is who Jesus is praying for. Verse 21, he says that all of them may be one, right? All of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Verse 22, I have given them the glory that you gave me, which is a whole nother conversation in itself, right? That they may be one as we are one. But then 23, here it is. I in them, you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. So how is having 200 or 45,000 denominations within the Christian faith, unity. Okay, but anyway, at the end of 23, it says, then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. So this whole thing of different denominations and people physically getting into altercations because you stand with the Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, again, None of those, there's no name denomination in the Bible. So I'll just leave it at that. So the answer to that question, what is my denomination? It's Genesis Revelation, not Genesis through Revelation, Genesis Revelation. Okay. 